this particular video is more of a motivation we are officially in the second half of 2024 and i am here screaming at you to finally get your shit together What's up guys, my name is Akron Amu Ifini here and welcome to another chit chat video. We are literally, what, six or five months away from 2025 y'all. Time is moving rapidly. We are almost at 2025. 2024 started the other day. And I know most of you are wondering, where did the time go? You remember yourself, 1st January 2024, writing down all the things that you wanted to achieve this year, and you haven't gotten into any of it. I get it. I am one of those people, okay? I started getting my shit together in May. So the first five months, of the year was awful like i said in my previous video my previous chit chat i talked to you guys about all the lows i experienced in the first half of 2024 i just want to show you that a year is a year is a long time shit can happen like the first year the first half of my year was awful i said that i had i dove deep into it in my previous video my previous chit chat if you didn't see that video i'm gonna link it somewhere over here and also i'm gonna link it down below in the description you can go watch that as well um that half was awful it's not really more like it wasn't even half it was like the first four and a half months of 2024 was just no okay so i decided to get my shit together in may okay i started focusing on my work i started focusing on my business on myself i've just been trying as much as possible to get um better to basically live the best version of myself okay so i'm making this video particularly to encourage you guys to get your shit together for the second half of the year and the best way to do that is i'm gonna tell you guys what i'm planning i always you know i like to share to share these things with you guys so i am going for the next 10 15 minutes i'm gonna tell you guys what i have planned for the next half of the year i want to end this year better than i started better way better than i started okay so let's talk about the steps that i have been taking already see i started getting my shit together like i said in may okay um i focus a lot on posting every single day not videos of course not like long vlogs like this no or chit chat no i focus on making short content like on tiktok on instagram reels on youtube shorts i get it like probably i make the same video and post them everywhere but my audience from tiktok might not be the same actually they're not the same audience on instagram and they're not the same audience as youtube however if i start merging like my goal was to start merging all my social medias everywhere that i post my video i kind of want to merge them together so that if you know me from tiktok you can just go to instagram and see what i have posted on instagram and if you like to see more of me you just come on youtube and see all my longer videos here on youtube so that's what I've been trying to do. I've been doing a lot of short videos. Okay, I had like a week and a half that I wasn't able to make my short videos per se. I think it was even like a week. It wasn't even a week and a half. Because my phone, like I said in my last vlog, my phone was... It died. It said it ain't doing it, okay? So I finally got another one, okay? I got another phone. So now I am back to making my vlogs. I am back to not really my blog but like my everyday um videos on tiktok even today like when i'm done with this video when i'm done filming i'm gonna do a couple of tiktoks before i even sit down and start editing because y'all know when i sit down and start editing everything comes off the hair goes up in a bun the makeup comes down the jewelry comes down i put on pajamas i like to be mega extra comfortable when I am editing. So that is one thing that I've been trying to work on um, ever since I decided to cut the crap and work hard. 
because this is my business this is my life this is what i like to do so if i don't pay attention to it how would i do things i don't even like to do so my new goal is to always do what i love and that is it so i try to start you know doing videos here and there and whatever that's for my career okay for my personal i have done a lot when i say a lot child i mean a lot okay i have cut so many people like so many people if i don't talk to you it means you're cut off my life i i no okay i've cut a lot of people i have cut down on alcohol intake like so much like so much okay yes i made a vlog like when i started um Okay, I haven't posted that weekly vlog yet. Actually, it's coming. Let me do. Wait, 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 what am I saying? That weekly vlog is probably going up next week. Okay. Um, this Sunday I made a little cocky cocktail, and see that's okay because that's what my first drink. And like, I don't know. I've been drinking like you know. If I'm gonna take a drink, it's gonna probably be wine or champagne or a cocktail. No more hardcore shots. Yo, no more no more so that is um one thing and i feel like it, it became better like here's the thing the more i drank the more i ate because you know when you're drunk you want to eat some fast food so now that i'm not drinking as much um i'm trying to drink as much water as possible even if i'm kind of failing there i end up not eating as much like i end up having like one meal a day and if i feel like it's not enough i'm gonna have a meal and like a juice or something so I don't really do a lot like I don't find myself like indulging in a lot of food because there's nothing that's triggering me to eat okay so those are a couple of steps that I have been taking to you know lead up to um the life that I want to live who I want to be in future now here's the thing though that is just the first first steps now i have that was that was everything that I was doing between may and june just trying to get in the rhythm trying to get you know functional okay properly functional now the next six months of this year i want to completely change myself like I'm always changing myself let me tell you the truth I'm always changing something about me I'm always changing you know change is inevitable and if you're not changing you're living a terrible life you need to always change always evolve so for the next six months this is my plan this is my plan for a big glow up for you know for success basically the next six months I just want to do nothing but manifest success into my life so where to begin um maybe let's start talking about probably my career i don't have it written down so you guys you already know i never have any of this written down when i'm talking about me i don't script it we are winging it and i'm winging it right now so let's begin okay so guys the first thing i am going to talk to you guys about is my career my career first so let us talk about my youtube channel right now okay basically my presence online not just youtube but yeah so let's check um my instagram so my instagram i am at 19.4 i don't think you guys can see i'm at 19.4 um followers 19.4k followers um when I look at my analytics or the, my insights for the last 30 days, um, my account has reached 13,000 accounts, okay? And I just have everything like improved, okay? My impressions are at 25,500 um, and my account has reached 13,200 people. Um, I have had a lot of, I have 1,200 profile visits. So a lot, of, I know you guys are like, that's not a lot, but I wasn't paying attention to my Instagram at all. So I never really had any good insights. So now the last month, everything has been going up perfectly, okay? Um, so that's that. Let's check my YouTube, which is, of course, my main, um, 
presence here on the internet. So I have 1196 subscribers. Um I have like 200 watch hours for this for this month along the last 20 days. Um so a lot has been happening there as well. Now my goal is very simple, okay? For my Instagram, I kind of want to get to like the 40,000 um page what am I what am I saying the 40,000 impressions um you know I just want my insights to be a little more so I'm focusing on posting a lot there because Instagram for me I've been on Instagram for so long I think I joined Instagram when I was 14 I feel like that's like 10 years ago I've been on Instagram for so long and I never used to pay attention to it that much I just post a story here post a story there I don't really pay too much attention until recently I realized I can actually do a lot if I properly take care of my Instagram and that's kind of what I've been doing nowadays I want to grow my Instagram and like I want to focus on like two things okay th let's say TikTok as well but I really want to focus on my Instagram and my YouTube like a lot because Instagram is more of short um short content meaning when it comes to like sponsorships and brand deals and whatever I can create you know short reels for them to post on Instagram and whatever and then for my YouTube of course is for you know a sponsorship that require um a longer video like they require um a much longer video if that's the only way I can I, I can explain it to you guys so my goal is to really focus on my Instagram to grow my Instagram I realized that nowadays brand deals don't even care about your followers they care about your insights um, basically they care about um, how many accounts your content reach in a month how many impressions you have and all that kind of stuff and that is what I'm focusing on growing because before I started paying attention to it I think my impressions were like at a thousand and my account visits are like at three point something so it wasn't really a lot it was like I'm gonna say like three thousand and fifty maybe it wasn't even a lot but when I started focusing the last I'm gonna say two months um I've grown to like thirteen thousand impressions um not thirteen thousand impressions thirteen thousand account um which basically but how many accounts is my content rate that's what it means and i have like almost a thirty thousand um impressions and that is the goal that is what i'm planning to kind of work on and for my youtube of course followers is a thing and views is a thing as well so by the end of the year i kind of want to like i know it's a stretch a mega stretch but i kind of want to hit the ten thousand mark by the end of the year by the end of the year this is six months from now i want to hit the 10,000 mark because compared to the last two years more like one and a half years i have been i'm um, here on youtube i this last two three months is when i have really actually not even three months the last two months is when i really put my i've been standing on business when it comes to the way i'm posting the way i'm paying attention to my youtube that is just something that I've started focusing on the last two months so if I con uh, what? <laughs> if I start consistently doing that for the next six months I know I'm gonna create wonders on my page so for my channel of course my goal is to be like at the 10,000 mark okay of course before I get the 10,000 mark my channel is already monetized and when it comes to views right now I have a total view of um, let me check let me check how much um views my entire channel has okay so ever since i got this um channel ever since i started this channel in um march of 2022 i have 40,500 total views on my channel so given that that is for the last one and a half years that and i haven't really put okay two yeah two and a half years i don't know why i'm saying one and a half given that i haven't really put in the work like like those first 
two years I didn't really put in the work like I am putting in the work the last two months so I feel like I'll be able to like be like at half a mil when it comes to my video to my views and of course my watch hours will be way past because I am trying to get monetized on my channel before even October like I'm giving myself like July um, August September four months four months to get monetize on my channel but that is just the things that I want to accomplish okay if you don't have if you don't set yourself goals you will not be able to work towards anything if you don't have goals what are you working towards so for me with my career and my everything that is what I am kind of working on that is what I am putting my foot down on okay so yeah so next let's move into my personal goals for the second half of 2024 so guys when it comes to my personal goals I feel like they are much more harder than my career goals because when it comes to I'm trying to find a place to place my phone sorry when it comes to personal improvement and personal development there is a lot of discipline that is required and giving up comes very easily actually it's very easy for you to give up because when you're working on yourself as a person you have to face so many realities about yourself that you kind of want to not face so you tend to just throw in the towel and be like i am not doing this i was fine the way i am whatever and i felt like that so many times the past two months like i'm not even gonna lie to you guys there are some times that i sat down and was like why am i doing this again like why am i trying to work out every day why am i trying to eat cleaner every day like i can just go and like have kfc all day long but you see if i do that my quality of life is going to decrease i'm gonna get to a point where the smallest disease attacks me the one thing that i am scared of i think in this world is what people call lifestyle what am i quoting they are lifestyle de uh, to degrees what lifestyle diseases you know diabetes um obesity um high blood pressure I know something like diabetes some of it does it does <laughs> some of it does run in the family I know okay I am well aware however others are self-induced from the sense that you do not take care of yourself you do not eat clean you do not work out you do not do any of that I have struggled with keeping a workout routine for so long like there's a time I used to like work out I was dedicated to the point that I went down until I was like 160 pounds and then I shot right back up to 200. At my heaviest, and actually I've been my heaviest this year, and my heaviest I was 210 pounds. And I think that day when I weighed myself, I was like, what in the actual fuck? Because 210 pounds, like 95 kgs. I'm like, you cannot be that fucking heavy, girl. That is uh, too heavy. Like, you came from 160 pounds, which is about 70 kgs, to gaining almost 100 kgs. 200. I crossed the 200 pound line. And I was like, bitch, bitch. Now, my BMI was off the charts, and I had to look at myself. I'm like, yes, I look good in certain clothes, but when the clothes are off and I'm staring at myself, I don't like what I see. I don't like who I look like. I do not like anything about how I look like. They look good in clothes. I look amazing in clothes when everything is put in its position, banging. However, if I take it out, I don't look good and I remember I was editing a video and I was editing um, a clip where I filmed myself editing a video right so it was shot like from this way and I could see this part of my um, body and the back of my body like this part I remember looking at it and being disgusted I looked so 
big like so big and I was like no the fuck no the fuck it's gonna be hard but we gotta stop losing pounds so um the last I weighed myself when two days ago I am now at 200 pounds so I have lost 10 pounds which is amazing um I haven't really gotten into a workout routine yet I'm not gonna lie all this is just limiting my food intake I haven't worked out yet because I don't want to rely my weight loss on solely working out see for you to lose weight 80% is food 20% is workout so the first initial step for me I want to train myself how to eat well how to it better how to eat in a way that helps me i realized that the time that i lost a lot of weight is because i relied solely on working out so the moment i stopped working out all the calories all the weight all the fat everything came back why because i wasn't eating right i was just working out but i wasn't eating right you know i would work out for like an hour 45 minutes and then i go eat like a whole fucking plate of fries or i eat a whole pizza like i wasn't really balancing like i was working out but i was eating bad so kind of in a way it balanced itself out and i lost the weight however when i quit working out remember i hadn't solved my eating habit so given that i'm not working out anymore nothing is going out i gained back all the weight and more so this time i am doing my weight loss journey in a different way i'm first taking care of food i'm first solving the binge eating um the eating just because i'm bored the terrible bad eating habits that I've been having over the years I want to deal with them first and then I start and then um um go now to working out because if I rely solely on working out I am always gonna go back and forth like I lose the weight I gain the weight times two I lose it again I gain times three I don't want to do that so I want to go to the root of the problem and the root of the problem is bad eating habits so if i solve my bad eating habits i am going to create a life where my body is healthy and when i in when i include working out it'll be more of toning my body so this next i'm gonna say three months not even six months the next two to three months i am working on eating clean eating healthy eating well no more no more eating just because nowadays i literally eat when i'm hungry you guys don't understand first of all i don't like eating in the morning i know people are like oh it's the most important food of the day don't skip it i cannot eat i have gotten to a point where i cannot eat when i wake up i have to eat like four hours later like today i was up at like 10 30 and i i ate at what 1 30 sometimes i eat at three and then when i eat like i i have my food at like one thirty. um right now it's let me see right now it's um it's 3 30 and by the time i'm done finishing this video so around 4 or 4 30 i'm gonna i have like um juice kind of smoothie it's a juice smoothie because it's not really thick and it's not really juicy juice because it has like water I mean, it has like milk and everything, so it kind of creates a smoothie. I am going to drink that at like 4.30 when I'm doing my editing and my work and everything. And that's basically what my diet has been. Um, healthy juices, healthy smoothies, and one serving of solid food, and that is it. So, yeah, that is what I've been doing. So, for the next half of the year, I am working on myself, on my personal health and everything. So... That would be the hardest part. I swear to God, that is the hardest part. Because you don't understand, because you're fighting with yourself. And that is the most difficult thing. To, when you, you know, when it comes to work, you wake up, you work, I make videos, I do this. That's work, that's easy. But working on yourself, becoming the best version of yourself, that is hard. Because you're fighting with your old self. Because you're so comfortable being your old, the old you that getting rid of all those... Um, Getting rid of that comfort, getting rid of everything that you found comfort in is very, very hard. It requires a lot of discipline. So, 
maybe <laughs> maybe six months from now i'm gonna be making a completely different video about like self-improvement and everything but for now that is a plan okay so yeah okay guys so that is my personal and career goals for the next half of 2024 i know that this half is gonna be way much better than the first half i am working towards bringing in positivity into my life just manifesting success manifesting a good life and everything and i was gonna work out okay when you change your mindset you change your life basically everything is up here your mindset is everything maybe i'm gonna do a video maybe next time all about mindset just to show you guys how strong your mind really is like i read somewhere that if you can dream it you can create it and i dream i'm a dreamer i dream a lot so now i want to put my dreams and reality so that's what i have this little plans this goals this steps i want to take so that i can reach to my goals reach to my dreams so before i end this video all i have to tell you guys is make sure you have goals for yourself no matter how small maybe your goal is to make you bed every single day maybe your goal is to get ready and you know every day like look cute every day small small tiny habits that will lead to a better tomorrow just make sure you always always have goals always quarterly goals monthly goals weekly vlo uh, vlogs goals daily goals yearly goals five year ten year it don't matter let me tell you, the power of making goals is you know you have something you're working towards. If you don't have something you're working towards, then you wouldn't even have the drive to do anything. You wouldn't even have the drive to work harder because what the fuck are you working for? So that's what, that's what I'm going to leave you guys with. Always make goals, no matter how small, because then you're going to see the reason or that you can find the purpose of your life. Don't just live life willy-nilly have a plan have a goal when you achieve a goal celebrate always remember to celebrate yourself so with that guys i think i am going to end this video right here if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more self-care self-development becoming yourself your best self videos and also my regular regular live vlogs you know about my life and whatever that is basically what my entire channel is all about so if you enjoy if you like that kind of stuff make sure you subscribe to my channel and yeah leave a comment down below i want to see you know just say hi you don't have to say anything just say hi okay and with that guys i am definitely going to see you in my next video adios she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa